Hello everybody, this is Tiny Goliath welcoming you back to some more The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's been a while since I've done a video, and just to show you here that I am at the Shrine of Resurrection, as some of you may recognize, because I was doing fast traveling while uh, doing some preparations for the video. Because the noise in the house is a little bit much right now. I just thought I'd take the opportunity of getting an early morning to get a video out of the way and um, get moving to the story. So, yeah, um, where we left off was we completed all the shrines, from what I can tell, and we're on our way to meet the old man amidst where the shrines intersect. And I already know where that is. Or as you may be able to get a hint of, we're heading right there right now. I'm using my Astro A20 headset at, for the microphone. Did I get the Korok over there? No, I didn't. Damn it. Wait a minute, what? A sword! Okay, that's it, thing. Bye, Mom. Don't mind that. Um, that's just house life. That's just the way my videos go. <laughs> I just hate when I have to stop and have to restart an entire segment of video. Stop it. And you stop it. No, I'm just out of here. I'm out of here. See ya. Good. I might just wind up buying a uh, Switch Pro controller. Just to because the GameCube controller is nice and all for uh, Smash. Um, wait, did I say Switch Pro? I mean the uh, GameCube controller is good enough for uh, playing Smash. But, um. Oh, Traveler's Bow. It's not really amazing for. Breath of the Wild or any of the other Switch games. Plus, it doesn't hurt to have the accessories. Wait a minute. What is it? What did this? What? Hang on a second here. Yeah. Probably wind up getting one of the Switch Pro controllers in between one of the videos. Until then, I'll just have to adjust to using this. You have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. Uh, I will amplify your being. So tell me, what is it that you desire? You wish to expand your stamina wheel, yes? I do, actually. Yeah, I do. I shall grant the power you seek. It's the forest gem! Bum 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 bum! The size of your stem stamina wheel has been increased, allowing you to perform more actions before getting tired. Oh my. 
Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Okay, Hylia. Oh, good old man. I can already tell what you are from over there. The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. <laughs> here I am. Get up here, quickly. Give me your rupees. Yep. Aw. Yep. Ah, oh, excuse me. <laughs> so it's kind of nice to use my microphone and not have the background noise going on that I do with my computer. I will likely eventually upgrade my computer case so that it's more sturdy and more, I guess, fan efficient. But until then, um, we kind of have to deal with the fact that I'm using my Astro A20s for the microphone and the hearing right now. I'm not saying my other microphone's any worse or any better. I just kind of wanted to use something that didn't have the going on in the background. If anybody, if any of you could hear that sound coming out of me. It was just me blowing into the microphone. This is a relatively sensitive microphone, but from what I've done in my testing, it's not the greatest microphone in the world, but it gets the job done. It definitely gets the job done. Hello. Oh, I wanted to get that chest. No. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <laughs> The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Excuse me. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends, oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. 
One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the Champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight, gravely wounded, collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Sheikah slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Go on. Here's the paraglider, just as just as I promised. <laughs> Paraglider, an item you received from the King on the Great Plateau. It allows you to sail through the sky. Press X while you're in the air in the air to use it. X. Okay, that's where my X button is. Great. Good to know. Fly with that. I mean, with that, you should be able to f be able to safely fly off the cliff surrounding this area. And I think that's it. Hmm. I've told you everything I can. Link, you 
must save Hyrule. Well, stuff got fairly heavy. Quite quickly, from what I regard. I am going to try something with my headset here. Oh god, my side tone is all the way up. Um, I'm gonna... There we go. Everything gets at studio levels. Okay. I think that's everything I can do with my microphone for right now. I am going to turn down the volume of the game just a little bit uh, to negative 12 decibels. And that should be good. So let's try out our new paraglider. Works pretty well, works pretty well, I'd say. My volume's been lowered to negative 13 vol uh, decibels. That should be good for um, what, what we're doing today. As long as I talk normally, um, everything should work. Oh, right, so X to jump. Okay, so... Oh, God, I have to crawl. I have to claw hand it. Oh, shit. No! I think not, Mr. Guardian. Jabay sh Shrine. A shrine we have conquered. The first thing I actually want to do is, um, for this. to the next tower. Now, if I'm not sure if any of you noticed, but those towers were fairly easy. Um, every tower is different. They have their own level of difficulty and level of height that you have to conquer. Or, yeah. Ah, the grass. It's so nice to be back in this game. Um, I just haven't had the, had the time or the enthusiasm to get back into doing this. Today, um, I was just having to dig up the septic tank, because um, we had some toilet problems here the other day. So, I was up at like 6.30 in the morning. I thought, you know, we, we got done digging the holes like about a half hour ago, 45 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah, it's 8.09. 8 we, were, we were done digging by around 7.30. So, that that's... Oh, okay, I am not ready for you, Mr. Stone Talus. Oh, Fox! Fox! Look, it took, it took a second for me to realize it. <laughs> oh, God, that was so silly of me. I'm sorry if I picked the microphone there. Ooh, birds. I suppose we should probably wind up getting a weapon. <sighs> Gotta have a balanced diet, eh? Oh, right. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Feels good to be back in the game. Totally no way this is quiet.
Bokoblin horn. Bokoblin guts, a rare material obtained by defeating a Bokoblin. It convulses on its own every now and then, which is really creepy, but perhaps it has, has a use. Rusty broadsword. This once fearsome sword has been has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but also breaks quickly. Rusty shield. It is likely this rusty old shield once belonged to a knight. It still has some defensive capabilities, but its usefulness has been worn down by time. Red rupee, 20 rupees. Its red luster tickles your heartstrings. Ooh, it's so nice to hear that sound again. I am going to uh, take a look here. Do can I drop that and uh, pick that up? Let's see. It does three, just like the uh, Boko shield. Okay. Whoa. Hello. Give me a chew jelly. All right. Okay, that that's everything. See, I, I think this microphone kind of makes me sound a little bit nasally. Maybe I am a little bit, but I am. I, it's not. It's not too bad. Let's get to a high point over here. We can do more exploring later on. I know there's uh, chests that I can pick up around here. What's this? The highly armored, highly reverb, yes. Foxy! Yay! I know I can hunt the animals in this game. I just don't want to right now. Okay, I thought that was. Speak of the devil! Whoops. Whoops. No, I want for. Nah. Delete 10. Delete 10. Curse you, tree! I will be completing some of these shrines off of stream or off of a uh, off of the video just so cuz they're all kind of samey and all they do is pose as kind of trials. I will be mod I will be uh showing all of the uh um items I get between videos if I haven't used them up already. I will be listing them as well. If they've used them up and they've broken, I will, of course, like I said, I, I said I will list them. So we won't go there right now. Where is the uh, tower? Where is the tower? Ah, where is the tower? There's a tower back there. In the distance, see between those tower, that tower there. Gonna avoid the choose. Oof, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, but cobbling camp. Nice. I don't have any use for a Ooh, honey. Uh, you know, I don't need honey right now. We're just going on an adventure. Hang on. No, we don't need to be there. We need to be over here. I will be uncovering the uh, towers and the areas where I need to be. There's that tower. Okay.
Also, if Nintendo releases the Switch Pro this year, I will probably wind up picking that up. I'll back up my saves and transfer them over to that. wanting to get a nice and balanced. There's another tower and there's another tower. Great. Ah. Sorry guys. There's that. Ah yes, the bridge is over here. I need a coffee! Oh! Jeez! Also, let me know if you guys want to see me do some Super Smash Brothers footage. I'm not great at the game, but I think it might be fun just to do like, just a casual, like, fun time. Uh, kind of, just play through a couple missions. You're in there. Kind of like how I do the Battlefield 1943 videos. Like, those are just videos when I want to just chill and not be too serious. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be super serious about this game either. It's just, this is my current Let's Play. Ah! No. 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 Yes. God damn it. It's right here. I... Right here, we might as well do it. We might as well unlock it, actually. Uh. Ooh, excuse me, guys. Ooh. So yeah, I'm used to pressing A to access, because A is where the X button on here is, and Y is where the X button is on the other controller. <laughs> it's all, it's like all ass backwards. Oh, I know the shrine. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Bosh Kala. In the name of the Haggadah's Hylia, I offer this trial. The wind guides you. The Bosch Kala Shrine. Let's do it, guys. Woo! Damn it. I completely messed that up. I double tapped. A fossilized resin, the caramelesque sheen of it, with a caramelesque sheen to it. It is valued by as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. Okay. What do we have here? Oh yeah, this is, I forgot, this was an easy shrine. No, ah! Darn it. Come on, Linky. go. 
Soldier's Claymore. You know, we can get rid of the cobbling arm because it is gross. A two-handed sword designed for combat. It's heavy and hard to use, but it's decent build quality and durability. And decent damage to, to boot. Alright, let's sprint through this. I don't got time for this. I can't be doing hour-long videos again. That's another spirit orb to our inventory. Yes, we can skip all of that because it's the same for every shrine. And now we have a fast travel point if we need it, which is nice. I know we will probably wind up using it sooner or later down the road. Okay, welcome back to the plateau. And we will be tackling more side quests later because I know there's some pretty nice side quests in quests quests in this game. Oh look it's be no it's not. Is here. We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about the mushrooms here, I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. Uh. You know, what this means, don't you? The end is here! The gee scoop! With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on the, that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? Yeah, good uh. idea. Yeah, that guardian is worth watching. Oh god, I'm just turning into Meowth again. That yeah, guardian is worth watching. It's just like the ones from the old, the old stories. Oh. Did you know some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. This one here? No, it was a different one. That one was closer to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that the end was that that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst, but somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. Mm -hmm. You think my? You think it was my lightning-fast reflexes that saved me? Ha! Huh, I wish. Truth is, I just got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still, guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. I don't know why I kind of just reverted to Meowth. Meowth, that's right. Like, I, I just totally Meowthed it. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. We're just going to follow the road. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the Xenoblade quests. Why do they have to add Xenoblade things to this game? <laughs> didn't need it. I didn't need it. I definitely don't need it. I need it. We 
will take a deviation off the off the path to find ourselves a Korok. We might as well just collect some Stimella shrimps while we're here. No. Oh, what's this? Blue Nightshade, a plant that grows in, a quieter, in quieter areas of Hyrule at night. It gives off a soft glow. Cook it, with it, cook it to increase your stealth. Eh, I don't do too much of the potion making in this game, but if I need to, I will. There's a village. But we're not here for the village. We want to reveal the terrain around here. Silent Shroom, a strange mushroom that grows softly in the forest at night. Cooking it into, into a dish unlocks the nutrients in this cap, resulting in a meal that will allow you to move stealthily. And we come across a person. Lizard! Get over here, lizard! Aw, oh, it disappeared. A lizard. So we're just going to beeline it for the... Uh, that over there. There is a, another Korok up there, if you haven't been able to kind of maybe guess. Hi, Herons. Herschel, I missed. Oh well, I can always buy arrows. Hyrule bass, an ordinary fish that can be found all over Hyrule. It can be eaten raw, but cooking it amplifies its health benefits. Oof, made it. I think I'm an idiot. I could have crossed over there. Uh, I've done this before. I've done this before, I swear. Doing things the hard way is kind of my motif. I see there's some resources up on the cliff. Those look like, uh... Speedy shrooms? I forget the name of those shrooms now. Man, let's see if we have any of those in our inventory. Rush rooms, yes. <laughs> yeah, 
as we make our way to the top of the tower, I forgot to ask everybody, how is everyone doing? I hope you're all doing okay. Um, if you are, that is great. And I'm actually doing just fine, in case you're all wondering. Um, I've just been doing things. There's just a lot of things that involve either nothing, sleeping, or work. Work is still really kind of slow for the season. We're almost halfway into the year, and the work's only just starting to pick up. Let's get stuff here. Come on. Are we gonna make it? Uh, nope, we're not gonna make it. Darn. I think we'll call it quits as soon as I've revealed the area. In the next episode, we'll take a look at getting to Kakariko Village and maybe looking at one of the um, out outlying villages. We may even get a chance to meet some new characters. Some very important characters. So, without further ado, let's open up the area. Shika Tower activated. Okay, regional map extracted. Shika Slate updated. Additional functionality detected. Shika Sensor. The sensor reacts when you are close to shrines that you have not yet visited. If you he head in the direction where the reaction is strongest, you should be able to find the shrine. You can enable or disable the Shika Sensor with Y on the map screen. I don't really use the shrine sensor. I know I will. Ooh, sorry. I will probably. Oh, I bit my cheek. Um, Sheikha sensor now operational. By moving in the direction of the strongest signal. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just told me that. I'm turning that off now because that's that's. gonna get annoying after a while um anyways guys as you can tell this is a big game full of many wonders and trials there's I think a hundred over 120 shrines to deal with and an additional couple secret shrines as well as the sword trials but we will get to the sword trials when we get to them um, so yes, in the next episode, we will be going to Kakariko Village, like I said previously, and meeting a bunch of new characters, some who are quirky and some who are not. We will be continuing the story next time. This has been Tiny Goliath and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!